Hi guys, Miss Aniello here. I just want to talk to you a little bit about what my plans are um, with shooting Annabelle in this room. Now, um, really what I want to do, I mean she looks amazing, her, her dress is just one big sculptural shape in itself. And really what I want to do is just find the best way to convey that in a shot uh, that also uses this wonderful location and does it justice as well. So, but really in this shoot I'm about to do, it's really a case of balancing elements. You've got this sculptural shape of the dress and you've got these shapes and scale of the location, the room, uh, this library room that we're in. And really what I'm going to be doing is playing with um, how best to, to represent um, the model, um, probably standing still most of the time and just posing as, as an object in herself. Um, and really I'm going to be playing um, using a wider lens and a 24-70mm to lens, so 14-24mm to to get a really wide effect, but then also using 24-70mm to lens to see if I can just get any bit closer and if that has more impact or from a portrait point of view. Um, and also I'm going to be using constant lights, which I can just manoeuvre around the model or have manoeuvred around the model so that I can just really show off the folds and texture of a dress to the best effect and I can see by eye how that's going to look with the use of these um, constant lights, which is really handy um, and just helps me see what I'm, what I'm doing in, in camera. I'm going to be shooting tethered as well, so I can see what I'm doing on, fully on the screen of the computer throughout the shoot, and also the students can see as well um, what I'm up to and what I'm trying to get at. But really it's just feeling my way around, moving around the model, making sure I don't get stuck in one place, because that often happens where you become uninspired, stuck in one corner, moving around, finding the best angle and really finding the, the zone um, to, to get the best, um, the best context around her, get the best image that really shows off everything. With the images from the shoot that I've done with Annabelle, um, I'm just going to go through them. I'm going to go through all, obviously, the different um, types of shot that I've taken in terms of closeness to her and um, angle, different angles that I've tried. I've manoeuvred the light several times. I'm going to go through them and just pick my favourites. Um, some of them may be just single shots, some of them I might stitch together to show more of the library. Um, who knows, I might even use them as a foundation for something a little bit more surreal. But I am aware that there's already so much in this scene that that might not necessarily happen. It might just be that the picture is beautiful as it is. Um, and really also it's about trying to kind of hone what the colour identity of this image is with some curves, adjustments and tonal um, tweaks just to make the final vision really beautiful and complete and just bring out the best of it. Um, so I'll probably end up with maybe two or three pictures that I like from the shoot, especially if I've gone in and out in terms of um, closeness to her and showing more of a, more of a um, wider shot. Um, yeah, so I think it went well and I'm looking forward to seeing how they've come out. Focus in on face. Nice. So I like it. I like it very much in terms of the shape and the composition. I'm not so sure where um, colour, where this, where this picture would be going in terms of its colour identity because you've got these yellow walls and you've got her dress. Um, so um, that's one thing that's kind of puzzling me a little bit at this point. And also I don't know if she is standing out enough from the background. Just, it's not, I wouldn't describe it as flat, but I think it can be a lot more edgy. You don't get the spot. And the dress doesn't, actually the dress I don't think actually looks good yet. It looks kind of like messy from this angle that I'm shooting at. I'm very aware of that because when, you know, if I imagine being in editing with this, I'd be very aware of that. So, um, ideally, be getting more of an angle. This shape to me looks. I'm not shooting this seriously because it's got a big light in it, but just just to see how the dress looks on this. That's one. It should pop up then. So the dress for me is a lot more appealing from just that slight angle change. Um, it just bounces out 
from that window area a bit more and also the shape of it is a lot more appealing. I'm also very aware of her hands, her hands are very delicate and porcelain looking and, and the jewellery as well really adds to the image so whenever I shoot her I want to make sure her hands are kind of displayed and obviously the head as well with the head hat being on one side the obvious thing about getting her looking from one side at me as well. Yeah, go in. Um, couple of the wire. This side or this side? What do you want? This one you want to take. This one. Can I about to? Huh? Now, do you want us to move the coffee table back a little? See where it's coming in here. Um, I'm not sure about moving anything just yet because um, you're still playing. Yeah, still playing with composition, so I don't want to kind of waste anyone's energy moving something. But yeah, but no, I mean it's good you've noticed it. It's just I'm trying to get what the main composition is going to be, and then move anything protruding. I'm still unsure that this is the final composition. I like how the white table fits into the frame. Well, and I like the sh appearance of the chandelier. The room looks interesting, but then I also feel like this man over there should be visible in there as well. Too short, too frame car. Yeah, possibly. Oh, it might just be too wide in there. I don't know. Yeah. That's interesting. I think by framing her with the staircases it might go for a, an That's interesting. Because I like the feeling. Yeah. It gives you more depth. Look, you know, mm -hmm. this here. Mm -hmm. and this should kill the edge of that table. Maybe we need to move the light a little bit. It's I think we need to move this flat. one. Yeah, yeah, right. It's, uh, it's just too straightforward. It's really flat. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit sidewards to get more. What is that? You know, I do quite like the effect from above. It's creating more shadow and shape under all the ruffles. It's nice it's also quite, like this here. Yeah, yeah. This is great. Where did the where did the light go? Still there? Yeah, so give the dress a trim. Yeah. <laughs> you got a splash on that back one. <laughs> so, up in that corner. Okay, so can we do something with this light? Yeah. Can we put it to one side I think a little bit? Because it's just Bit too face on. Um, <coughs> maybe more from that angle. From that angle maybe off. where. Can we push back the table a little bit so that I can. Yeah. If it goes where the camera is, it's going to be it's more powerful. Mm -hmm. The thing about lighting from above is where right, you can see all these shadows mm -hmm. that just come in. Yeah, it's very really nice. So as you can see with these lights, I love using these lights because they're just, obviously, you know, you, you see what you're doing, they're, they're ambient, you're working with a form of ambient light that's also controllable. That's why I really like them, um, especially with the light being what it is outside today. And um, they're really easy to use as well. Um, and also I tend to be, I tend to like working with warm light. Um, so each being able to change the color temperature of them as well really easily. Um, I like being inspired by the warmth of an image in, in camera. So I'm just going to position myself so that the light's behind her there. I mean, I'm, I'm tempted to draw out to um, see more of the stairs, but then if I zoom in, I get more of an impact on her dress. Leonard, could you just... Yes. Um, 
bring out her, I don't know if, I don't know if you've pinned it in, but there's... Because it was too flat. It was kind of standing out, that's why I did it, to make the fold. Like, okay, no, it's fine. Just wondering if, if, is there a tail of a dress that can come towards me a little bit more? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, Melissa, I can see your legs in the picture. <laughs> And I'm not thinking about much about her pose yet. I'm thinking just about her stationed there as a shape and how to best convey that. And then I'll tweak more, getting the best kind of look, gaze at me and the arm position. But so far they're quite interesting and they're, they're nice. But then I'll, I'll, I'll tweak that. I'll look for the detail like that in a second. If you can just push that. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, there we are. Is it possible just to move that light in just a little bit? The, the doors of it are just entering the frame into the table. I want to get the table in, perhaps. You need this to come back a little uh, bit more? Here. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, fine. It's beautiful. So what I'm going to do, because I'm starting to feel a little bit kind of lost coming back out and back out and back out. So I'm just going to go in, forward, in, and just get a picture of <coughs> just her, like, filling the frame. Still quite wide, because it's a wide lens. So if you can just turn your face so you're looking um, that way a little bit more, and just move your chin up till your eyes in the light. Yeah. And that's perfect, just hold that. Now this is obviously cutting off a chandelier this time. But I just want to go in there and just get back into what really is the subject here. So I'm really, really liking the way her dress looks on that one. Mm -hmm. um, and even the way everything else is looking as well. Certainly as part of a series of pictures, I'd want to get something that's a little bit more closer in like that. Let's just try a couple more, just thinking more about the composition behind her. I can just pull out a little bit and show the statue behind her. So it's always this um, conflict between context and subject for me. And every, and every photographer, I imagine. So just trying to clean up the edges of the frame here, trying to make decisions on what what I want in and what That's not. Let's try getting in here. Oh, what's that? <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, it's just blocking the light. Is that okay? Is it better? No, it's nah. good. Not working? <laughs> well, it mm, I, I like the um, power of it. It's, it's enough, I think it's working. We can soften it a little bit if you want. Just adds a little bit moody. You know, um, if I'm unsure, I'll get a range of pictures, really, just to different proximities to the model and just... Um... Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just swivel um, to one side. I want to see if one... Obviously, if you face that way, then I can't see your face, but I just want to try this. So, yeah, and then just turn your face towards me as much as you can like that. Yeah, I think that'll work nicely, because that side of the dress is almost fuller. Um, I don't know about composition on this one, but I just want to see how she looks. Like a desk out of a Christmas tree. Yeah, I like that a lot more. I'm also contemplating doing, even though this is a super wide lens, um, doing a stitch to be able to get on that extra part here, instead of coming out all the way here. So let's just, so this is what, just shoot this in two parts. I think that would work pretty well. I'm still asking myself the question, is this powerful enough? Am I getting enough power in that one, in this one I'm shooting? Is this impressing me enough if I was to look at this picture as an outsider? Um, so maybe just Try moving back just a, just a step. And turn towards me like you were, yeah. I'm just wondering whether I should change that light behind.
Uh, Matthew? Just there. Hey there. Could you just move the light? If you just see where I'm standing and just move the light so it's behind, directly behind her. <laughs> Thank you, dear. <laughs> Not normally this polite. No, no, but I'll actually sign the contract to be nice. Yeah, for once. So yeah, I quite like this angle. This is just getting the, I don't know what to call him, but the statue directly behind her. Um, Dang. Oracle. So I'm not sure about the chandeliers. Sometimes chandeliers are kind of problematic because you like they're pretty, but they kind of dangle into the frame in a strange way. I quite like the angle on the dress in this. Um, the staircase doesn't look as good, but this part looks interesting. Um, okay, <coughs> what I'm going to do now, because I've thought a lot about composition framing, what I want to think about now um, is more like the shape of the top of your body and the way you pose with it. Do you want something maybe a little bit more um, of a curve in your shoulders, maybe down to one side? Um, yeah, that looks interesting. And then, so you're kind of like pushing your neck forward. So I'm just going to do a check in on this. Just move to the side a little bit more this way. Yeah. Actually, that's not working too much. Come back. And try it maybe the other way. So you're bending here. And put this... this. That's lovely. Brent, how are we doing for levels? Are you checking levels and everything? No. Leonid, um... Yeah. I like that a lot. Skin tones are fine. This flat here. Yeah, it sounds... Might be a tiny bit overexposed, Max. That? No, no, three, two. Hmm? Your skin tones might be a tiny bit high. Yeah, it's going to get blown out of the windows, isn't it? Well, the windows are gone. I see what you want, the windows are gone. The skin tones, the brightest part of the shoulders, yeah. right up here, so you still have it. Yeah, I'm bringing myself down. Well, More dry as no one else. Oops, sorry. <coughs> Is it a bit closer to this one? A little bit further back, if you can. Back. <coughs> Is it winter? Focus points on. Focus points have changed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, more floodlight or more than oh, like a spot? Things, so it just changed by itself. Why is it done? <coughs> I don't know. Did you hear that? No. Well, you can change it. Where do you want it? Just all. all. You want it on her face? It's in there still. You can change it. With hmm? the, you can change it. Do you want it on her face? Are you okay? Do you need... Um, any... No, the focus point's just gone to the left of her for some reason. I've had that happen. Are you sure? Take it off yeah. the block. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, are you shooting horizontal again? Uh, I don't know. I was going back and forth. I just want to be able to focus centrally. You probably have the maintain focus point, so when you turn it, it's keeping the same one. Just keep resetting it. I didn't realize. Hmm? Sorry, I didn't realize you came back to landscape. Uh, I'll, I sh I've actually just um, clicked back, so I'll just let put it on. Okay. I was reconsidering it, but I think it's probably going to be portrait. I think so, for the ceiling. So I like this book. Mm, I see what you mean, yeah. Her? Books. <laughs> what about the Hobbit chairs? Hobbit chairs! <laughs> do you want to be taller, or do you want her to be taller? Her to be taller. Could stand up some books. 
I think low. That right there. I think low. something else with this light. I'm just wondering whether the light is, is as impactful enough as it could be. Sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. I just think it's not powerful. Yeah. What if we kill the, yeah, the diff? Just plain light. It's up more to, crisp. It's up to or or that. Lift it up. Can you lift it? Because oh. there's magnets there. Yeah, just yeah. remove the diff for a second. And put the color back. Yeah. I really want. I want light on a face in particular. It's a full stop. Sorry? That's a full one. That's a full one on the face. Like well, it's 250, or? so it's at least three quarters. Yeah, on the face, yeah. Mm, that's nice. So, I've got a spot on the different. face. Do you like it more or less? More on the face. No, the. So. Do you like the fullness, the light, the brightness? No? That's what he's asking. Yeah, yeah, I like it more. Yeah. Okay, I like the composition of this. It's going to take a shot. Like this. I'm not sure about the pose on that one, but let's just look at the composition. Mm. That's too low now. Mm. Matthew. Yes, Dave. Uh, <coughs> Can you point that light behind her? Can you move it first a little, a little bit towards the window? If you just look at where I'm sitting. Yep. And then, could you kind of point it more towards her head, Annabelle's so head? Point it up a little bit more. Yeah, I don't know whether it's going to get what I want, but. What I really want is something that's kind of emanating from her a bit more in terms of a light, something behind her. That's sneaking the light up under the hat. I like that. It's a good catch light there too, right there. Mm -hmm. And you see the door of the light just underneath her. Actually, you just bring your arm down. Just forget it. Sorry, sorry. You just bring your arm down, this arm with the ring, just um, just bring your ring down back to here. Yeah. Now the doors of the light are just sticking out from behind her, and it's going to bug me in post. Matthew, uh, you can just... This left one here, yeah? Both of them. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Okay, that that's a really lovely pose. I like that. Um, yeah, let's take a shot of this. Where did that catch light go? Lost it. It's not there. No, we lost catch light. There, oh, it, there is. it is. Right I, there. I line up a bit here. Oh yeah, right catch there. light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I line up a tiny bit, right there. Up a bit. Man, that's close. So, um, in the past I haven't normally shot, I don't normally shoot tethered. But I think when it comes to doing something with so many stylistic elements, it really pays off to shoot um, where you can actually see on a screen as you would. I also want to make sure there's no discrepancy between what I'm seeing on here and what I'm seeing on there. And that just helps me get an instant, instant guide on that. So, um, what I'm going to do, just because sometimes it's easy to get, I'm going to just untether myself for a second. Is that all right if I just plug it out? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> what could possibly go right? Turn the camera off first now. Oh, I didn't do that. 
I just want to make sure I'm not being, I'm not hollowing myself up in one area and I'm just becoming uninspired, but actually, I just want to make sure I'm missing a trick in other areas. So I love this light on her here, but. Yeah, what Natalie's doing now, we always recommend if you can do a 360 around your subject. Definitely. You know, go for it because you more than likely find a better. I don't want the shot, but I really want to know it. So what I want to do is ask you two guys to move from that couch. Um, In, but it's not so wide, obviously. I'm on. Uh, shooting on. Shooting on. Well, pretty much 24 at the minute. But it's just. Uh, just this kind of oh, wow. framing. Yeah, um, nice. I don't see that as a complete shot. I think it should, either should be yeah. center or I should get this maybe extra information to put on that side there. Matthew? Yeah. <laughs> we need a Matthew. <laughs> Everyone needs a Matthew. <laughs> I need a Matthew. <laughs> clone. Everyone wants to clone you. Um, so it's just right. her face is not totally in. Well, I like the shadow, but just so that her eye comes out. Yeah. 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 So that's the hat putting the shadow. Yeah. Get that round to that shadow. Nice. So I'm just contemplating the idea of if I did stitch what? So, sorry, what was that? Is that back over there in the shop? If I did stitch these together. Back back in the shop? Over there to the right of the Yeah, I mean, it's not. Might as well move it. It's about that thing. Oh, just wondering yeah, whether that's going to be interesting enough to stitch onto one side or not. Obviously not with dirt there, but... So, uh, if you wanted to isolate the statue, would you have to step over a little bit and then, so that when you're pivoting around, you're from the same point when you stitch? Um, or it doesn't matter? Um, well... So I shot from this frame. Um, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a big overlap, right. so that Photoshop can recognise the overlap if I choose to use the photo merge, but don't really worry too much about accuracy of um, No, because it kind of sorts itself out and I can all, I always take the liberty. Just things, doing I wouldn't want to do it manually in this case because it's just too, much, too many lines to finale over. Um, yeah, I'm essentially quite simple, but it's just a 
was almost like half, 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 um, not just a portrait picture, it's usually half of what you want to put in the middle of the picture, and it makes it into a, a yeah, not square, but like a, whatever, a flatter picture. Than, <laughs> as soon as she went. The depth in the picture here, mm -hmm. the light here. I'm not, I'm not tend, I don't tend to take pictures um, that are kind of like neither here nor there in terms of landscape or portrait. I usually do try to stick to some kind of guide. Symmetry. You like yeah. symmetry. Yeah. Um, just, uh, it's actually a bit difficult because I like this side of your dress the most, but then I also want to see your face. <laughs> um, try different, try different pose in the top of your body. Maybe even like if you were standing. Kind of like uh, almost really twisting, like this, really quite contorted. But now we lose the ring. Um, the jewelry is really nice too. It's okay to lose it on some, depends on what the compromise is. Could she, could she bring it up? Like, oh, you mean the bracelet? The, the ring or either one yeah that was that worked when she did the bracelet and now you gotta sorry no it's okay you, you put your shoulder back where it was before um so I'd rather try and get a dynamic in more interesting pose right um i don't mind too much if something's lost uh, you can, as opposed mm -hmm. to well, these ones are all right, but um, it's She's filling more the floor. Yeah. Too. And, you, and her body is creating like triangles on the other ones. Hmm. It's nice. Should I put the diffusion back on this light? Or do you have like the light? That seems alright. Yeah. Okay. That seems alright. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is where I wanted to start. Okay, so now I'm just wondering about the, the, the sense of completion in this image. Because I've got a composition I'm working on. When I get into editing with this, Am I really going to feel like I got enough in that shot? Yeah, I, I like it. I mean, I would like us to try right in that corner as well. I, I do like that corner coming in. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just wondering whether well, I should make the diffusion bigger. Yeah. 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 Skirt in there, looks like he's attacking her. I'll, I'll take her. It was probably like that already. Yeah. 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 It was. No, I wouldn't have done that easy. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like, it's almost like the cat's just walked in by itself. That's what he was trying to do. Facing that way. Give it a click so we see what we're This is tripod look. Did you think it was a quote book? No, I, I'm sorry. What's that? Have you broken it? Yeah, you know. Okay, I'll just put it. Oh, can I wear it? Like, yeah. <laughs> you probably did that version. Actually, Dad, you got a small head. A bouquet of flowers in that hole instead. Can I wear it, please? Well, you can actually put uh, roses in here. The lion's offering her a rose. Just, just remember that for the weekend kick as well. We kick the bike around a little bit. Okay, so what we do? I don't, I don't, I don't want this one this far out. You want this one closer? Like we're about to ride it somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you just move it a bit closer to it. This one, this one, you're. Just, this one, 
Can you just move it closer to it? Yeah. Forward. Yeah. Okay. And then I don't know about this one yet. Okay. Because I want them to look like they make sense. So um, they come behind for like some maybe. kind of maybe. Maybe more. I think it kind of should be kind of streaming in on the same flow from this one. So maybe yeah. alongside it, just a little bit ahead of it, or behind it. Behind, behind it, yeah. But not too far out, because I won't be able to see it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. No, no, it needs to... Closer at an angle. What yeah, about one from here and the other one from there? Mm. So you see one side ways and the other front, possibly? Um, Let's see. Shoot and see what happens and we'll figure. Actually, push it just closer to it. A lot, just forward. And keep going, keep going. So it's almost like biting a dress. Now we're just going to hook the dress Let's just see there. how rubbish this looks. Um, I'll adjust my settings. Maybe, here. can you put the maybe one in the back more at an angle? Um, and then you put them both. We are overexposed at the moment. Yeah, just totally out. Just Can you out. tweak them more towards okay, the staircase? One, face yep, and then his tushy behind even more towards the staircase. Yes, from her. No, no, no. The, this one up front. Just swing the tushy around towards. Yeah. There you go. I'm just sort of wondering whether I've overburdened the frame. No, but that's a good lesson. Sometimes you can overcook something. No, they're nice props, it's just how you use them. That's interesting. I'd love to soften that light up. Yeah, I said that a minute ago, but Nat wants to keep it harsh. It's just the shadows on the wall again. I guess you're not in the shot. So Dirk, have you got that filter over there, the diffuser? Yeah. Okay, so if someone can place this cat dog yeah, alongside... Where you yeah, want you can. Where do you want? Just okay. alongside the other one. Almost like the... I want to try it alongside it, but I also want to try it behind it as well. So let's, let's start Where's kind of like here? halfway past the other one, going back, going back here. Right here? Yeah. If Thanks. Get him in. I like the cat dogs, but um, I'm just wondering whether they go with everything that's in this shot. Like maybe. it might be overkill or overthinking? Perhaps. Maybe it's the wrong picture for them. Because obviously you've got her lovely dress and you've got this painterly um, illusion with the thing on her head. And then you've got this room, which is a whole story in itself. And then you've got these dog cats. <coughs> mm -hmm. and that's a lot. I'm just wondering whether it makes sense. Do you want me to put them at an angle again? Like one behind the other, how you were saying? Uh, just try a couple more shots like this. I quite like how they are. Compositionally, like, I like how they look. But as a unit image, I'm wondering whether it all makes sense as one big thing. I think I'm maybe... Right. <laughs> no, I like them. But can you have a statue in the back, too? Yeah. Um, but ben. I can see what you're saying. We have, you're a, book, we have a book shop. concept. You're in the frame. Just. You're framed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to say Ben. I'm Ben. <laughs> and just look at me, Annabelle. Uh, turn up your head a little bit more. Yeah. Let's see if this is doing it for me. Then compositionally, it's, I, I think it would, you know, 
as a, as a client image in the magazine. I think it's nice. It's just I, I actually it's like that now. Doing I do, I do like that. Artistically. I'm not, I'm not too pleased with the, the top half, the green Can we have that ceiling, coach but pulled back a tiny bit? Back more? See this one's very decent. Edge of yeah. couch is in frame. Yeah. This chair is in frame. Can we get some light on the hood of the yeah, no, no, it's okay. This way? That, that would make it for me. This way? I'm going to try it. It's a nice element in it. It's not lit. Dirk, there's also a red chair behind the table. Okay. If we could pull that out. No. There's also a red chair behind the table. Okay. You want me to go pull out? Well, we'll see if it shows. Okay, that's uh, it. Will you go in and Photoshop a flame in there? <laughs> what? Could you move that light just back like 10 centimeters? Back? Yeah, just 10. Yeah, don't do that. Okay. There we go. What? That's just. I think landscape. That is why I put it. Do you think landscape works? Sometimes it doesn't matter if she, her shape is perfect. I'm not saying this works, but if her shape was perfect, then sometimes those other factors don't matter as much as they might in a more uh, intricate image. But you could take work. them out if you needed to. So, Natalie. Yes. I am going to throw some light on the Buddha. Cool. That's the only bit that um, I don't really like. Don't put the fireplace in that nook. The table needs to come off. Up closer to the This or back. Yeah. Do you think you could try putting your arm up and the yellow log kind of behind well, your you head? Yeah. yeah. I could. Well, actually, technically, I will. <laughs> <laughs> so, Natalie, would you go and put a flame in the fireplace? Or no? Okay, so that's oh, what's right? Hey, Matt. Last production, we yeah. had a flame in the fireplace. Can we fireplace sneak or? that? A what in the fireplace? Um, a flame. Oh, fire. uh, Light oh, over no. on this side of uh, Annabelle, so we get a no shadow. Does anything for the picture, if it's just a random thing. I know, but we've got a shadow casting on it. And it's just the light over there. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's nice. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, we just want to get that exposure right on the filler now. Yeah. <laughs> I like that, Nelly. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that on? Yeah. yeah. When do you like it's kind down. of strange juxtapositions? Do you like my strange idea? I do. Okay. Okay. This is bothering me back just, here, though, yeah, because yeah, I know you like yeah. symmetry. Something about this table is bothering me. I'm just nitpicking. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
No, we, we need to, we need to, we need to this back end needs to come up and back. Light needs to come forward and down. We can switch side. Tell me. Tell me. If we put it on the spot there, this push push it, if you put the four yeah. farm door as well. That, push the couch this way, bring the light forward. Now look at it. Four or five feet. Try to connect that out as much as possible. Use the top of the barn door. Just get the boot and not hit it. Yeah. So just close that in a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I thought you had an invention. And then let's have you do the outro to this part. Okay. Okay, so let's get some shots of. Yeah, I mean, it's, and this is starting to be rather fine. How's that making now, anyway? Good. Yeah. I know, I mean, it's stretched out, I don't know what happened. Yeah. No, 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 And then just put your, bring your head down so I can see the detail of your hat a bit more down. I like that. I like when her head's right in the middle of the book. Yeah. No, but... Yeah. 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 Chit chat. Hey, Melissa. chit chat. Melissa. Yeah. What? No more chit chat. Oh, sorry. Let me pull that one's good. Here, we'll get the little bench. Can you give me another second, Alan? Yeah. How do you do that? Grab a, grab a roof. Okay. Like that? Yeah. Right, just hold that facing that way like that. Yeah. Beautiful catch. So I'm just doing a tilt up to the Good. ceiling in case that could be the kind of like way to get this. Yeah. I'd even go higher and grab that just in case you want it. Okay, the last thing I'm thinking before yeah. I... Watch the this come across it. Hmm. Let's try that again. Mm. Hold that. Have to. It's gone here. Mm -hmm. That's it. Watch that. Love. Wait, go back. Go back. Oh, there he is. Loves nice. it. That's pretty. Loves it. Okay, a couple more things I want now. I just want if we if I stand here, I don't know if I should use tripod for this. Probably. I just want the potential to. Can somebody help me pull this? Get some more shots of the dress fabric. One person, a Dirk. Yep. Can you help over with the table? Okay, so if someone can just move the dog cats. Wait, wait. You want to move this? Okay, let's move the cats now. I just want to get one without the cats now. Because I've got a feeling I'm like kind of stuck with them when I'm not 
not be able to do anything with them potentially. Are you serious? That's beautiful. Just the last few shots of them without dogs. Yeah. Cats, dogs, cats. Cat dogs. Lions. Yeah. I just had a dream that lion was coming up to me just before I woke up. There was this lion kind of pouring me. And then I woke up to, and I said to Matthew, Carousel. I was like, what? <laughs> Brooklyn. <laughs> yes, yeah. Carousel and Brooklyn. Yes. Is it? No, 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 no,